Someone else? Uh, I'm sharing my screen. And uh, and actually, I add two two topics. The first, as you know, that we would have a, a open source summit in in Spain uh, in uh, in September uh, from I don't know uh, seventh seventeenth uh, to to twenty first. So uh, and uh, because Open Ruler community uh, is the sponsor. Uh, it's a diamond sponsor of this summit, so uh, uh, they could uh, uh, secure a room, a whole day room, uh, for themselves to have different meetings. So they asked, they asked me that if our chaos would like to have a, a, a half day meeting to uh, use using that room uh, to talking about uh, uh, community health and uh, related to something. So I just want to check with you guys. Do you want to come? So it's, uh, so it's 2023 OSS EU of the Euler community and not uh, OSS Europe? Sorry? On the agenda? Uh, on the agenda, it says OSS EU. I assumed that was OSS Europe, but that's the Euler community? Uh, no. Uh, it's uh, it's not a ruler community. It's a, it's a Europe. Oh, it is Europe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's the Open Source Summit Europe where Open Euler is sponsoring. And as uh, part of sponsoring, yeah. they get a room okay. and they're gonna, they want to know if we want to use it for a couple of hours to talk about chaos. Is that right, Yuhui? Yeah, exactly. Okay. The EU and Euler and the EU and Europe confused me momentarily, <laughs> but now I get it. <laughs> that sounds great. Uh, yeah, I'll so, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be around. So they can provide a a, a, a afternoon to hold a half day room for us from from fourteen o'clock to uh, sixteen o'clock, two hours. So if we want to talk something about chaos, about chaos evaluation, I think we can use that room. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Maybe yeah, some. Right. Yeah. Do you, do you want to do you have want to go to Europe? Yeah, I, I, I plan that because I have topic with mm -hmm. Daniel uh okay. in that day. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, maybe maybe uh we can uh check who who would join this meeting and we can organize it together. And uh, so actually I'm checking with uh, with you guys, uh, especially Elizabeth, would you please to share it with uh, with other chaotics in other meetings to say who would like to join the summit. I mean, time to join this uh, half day session. Yes, 100%, it's already on the agenda for today. So we'll find out who's gonna be there and maybe we can, um, think of some ideas or some kind of agenda for those two hours, some kind of structure would be great. Yeah, That's and great. I just double checked the open source EU schedule and it looks like it's it starts right after, kind of right after my talk and um, ends just about time uh -huh. for uh, Daniel and Ruth's talk. So I, it doesn't look like it conflicts with anything chaos related. So that's that's good, that helps. And there's mm -hmm. not a lot going on on Thursday afternoon, mm -hmm. so it's probably a pretty good time to do it. Yeah, because I I also noticed that there are some there are some topics related to to our uh, areas in morning that day. So I I chat with the guys from Open Ruler communities if we can start schedule this session to the afternoon. So they help us to arrange this time slot to make more people could attend this meeting because that that is the last day of, of the summit i got we, we we would track more people hopefully 
Okay, yeah. my, I have a question. Yeah, wait. Will there be an online meeting at the same time? Because uh, it will be difficult for me to visit the meeting on site. Uh, as as far as I know, it's uh, most of, most of the meeting is offline, right? Am I right? I'm not sure okay. because I I checked with um, I checked I checked the schedule of that meeting, so they would recommend people to join offline, but maybe they would provide some virtual meeting online, but uh, I'm not sure. Okay, I see. Yep, yeah. and uh, the second topic I today I would like to uh, demo uh, this Compass Lab, which we have uh, discussed and talked this topic a lot in in some other meetings uh, a long time ago. Uh, at first, we provide some demos, and uh, we provide. Um, we provided some ways to to validate the matrix model um, comes from uh, chaos, and uh, we do the implementation offline, and we show the final result uh, on this website. But we truly notice that this not well uh, conveniently help people to create it, to create a new matrix model together with other people. So we change a lot. Uh, I mean the design of the compass lab. So uh, mostly we have done these uh, things. We prepare to uh, formally release it uh, in the next week. And today we are gonna show you almost fully done uh, the prototype to get your uh, some suggestions and, uh, and uh, improvements ideas. And um, after that, it uh, would open for all the people in chaos. And today, I would like to demo it together with my friends from uh, uh, OS China, Sheng uh, Xiang. Uh, yeah, he's um, he's also the member of the uh, Compass, and also he's a product manager uh, from OS China. So firstly, you can see I have a log, login account, and uh, this is the lab type. And uh, this is still showing the, the originally uh, designed by, uh, by Chaos, starter project Chaos matrix model. But right now, um, this button is working. So this is the, the page to create a new models. We can select uh, the dimensions you want to put uh, under this, uh, the, the three dimensions that you want to choose. And uh, I can provide a name. And the next, uh, if you want to apply, apply for it as a common matrix model, or if you apply it for, for the specific areas, you can choose as you want. And um, during this creating of the new matrix model, if you want, during the pro progress of the creation, you want to show that model publicly, or you you just want to check with your uh, uh, collaborators, and that's really based on your choice. So I can show it as public. And next, at the data site, uh, we provide more than two hundred. Uh, uh technology areas which contains a lot of different uh, um, data sites as you want also you can search the project if it's already existing in the oss compass because right now we we have a uh, uh, collect uh, almost uh, uh, 20, 25,000 project uh, in the chaos. Yeah, can I so, ask a quick question? I'm just yep. curious, how, how are you categorizing them? Is that an automated process or how, how does that happen? 
uh, we do it by the uh, by by the manually cardioids like this. We put the different project under the different items which belong to the different uh, technology areas. We make a lot of work on this part. Yeah, I bet. So <laughs> I bet. So that's that like a, a lot of work. It's like a, like a data administrator or a data librarian that is going through and classifying these. Yeah. Is what it Actually, like. we spend almost several months until so far, we're still working on that. My, um, there are some people from from Chaos, uh, from from Compass, are still uh, contribute this part of work. So I'm thinking, uh, right now, so far we have almost three hundred uh, technology areas, which covered almost ten thousand projects, which has been uh, categorized already. So this is the data size we can provide. So and, maybe, uh, oh, sorry. No. I was just, I was just going to ask. So maybe in the future, if like I, I have a project and I want to add it, I would maybe self, self identify what category I'm in. So this is all just kind of like laying the framework, laying the groundwork for analysis. Or would you still want to control kind of what categories folks go in? Actually, it's open for everyone. Okay. You can, you can contribute your project and uh, and allocate it into the different uh, collections. Here, we put the collections here. Awesome. And you can see that this is all the collections we have. It's really huge. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, the next step would add metric. As a, as you know that we have a lot of different metrics defined in chaos. So we're trying to implement as much as we can from the chaos. But as you know that we will add a chaos logo here, but because it's not finished yet, we haven't added it yet. But maybe next week we will add all the chaos logo here to distinguish, to, to declare that this metrics uh, is originally coming from chaos. And uh, you can see we divide all the, metrics, all the metrics into four categories, contributors, gate related, issue, and repo. And, repo. Uh, and later we'll add a star and folks count into this repo later. And this is all the issues we, uh, metrics we have. As far as we have almost 40 metrics already implemented under these categories. You can pick up any metrics as you want to create this metrics model. After you finish that, you can define the weight and the threshold. As you can see that uh, uh, I have picked up four metrics in this metrics model and uh, it, they will divide it into four, uh, twenty-five percent for for each, automatically, and of course you can you can adjust that, like this, as you want. And this is the threshold. The threshold we provide as a as a default value, uh, we use the as current uh, matrix model, but you of course you can you can organize that. You you can change that or customize that. We give a range of each data, but uh, if you think this threshold, I mean the max uh, max value is too big or too small, you can you can you can access to 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 change. And uh, algorithm selection, uh, we would use the system default algorithm, which used the already for the other matrix model exists in the compass, but. But as you can see here, uh, if you want to have more ideas for creating a new matrix model algorithm, you can check. You can check with us. We can provide some more implementation for these new algorithms. 
and uh, we provide some uh, terms of use because later you, you would say that we have some uh, community uh, usage under the each matrix model. Uh, I mean, this matrix model lab. After I save that, sorry, always have some fault, I don't know. Maybe I talk too much, so the system hit, hit me. I can, what happened? Do you need to give it a name? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Hope so. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know what happened. Maybe I need to confirm that. No. Okay. Forgive me for that. But uh, anyway, we uh, luckily I have uh, one more already created here. After you create this one, you will find uh, my 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 models under here, and uh, you can trigger the analysis. We provide uh, ten ten uh, times to trigger each uh, models for each week. And uh, if you view the report, because I already pick up some uh, data sites. And of course, the data sets currently haven't have no values. But uh, if you see that uh, for the each, uh, for, for the each uh, matrix or the models, you can you can give your comments and so and also this work is not just done by yourself you can you, you can invite some other people here you can send a mail to other people for example And uh, you can give them the different uh, access right, flexible, treatable, or model uh, modifiable. So you can invite the different kind of uh, collaborators together with you to set up this matrix model. Then you can send the mail to that guy and that guy would click to accept your invitation. And then uh, if this model is not public, or even it's public, if he have some right to modify this model, uh, they uh, they would join with you guys to set up these new models. And uh, you can say that this is, we have the version control uh, because after some modification or after some uh, discussion uh, around this uh, matrix model, you would create a new new ones, I mean, the, the, the other version. So you can uh, uh, pick up a new version name and of course add the different data size because for the version one or for the first version, you pick pick up some other, some, some different mat uh, data size or you wanna update your metrics, of course you can, you can add it and then you can save that. And finally, um, if you check the lab, uh, if you set it as, as a public uh, matrix model, uh, your matrix model uh, is would be displayed 
here, and all the people uh, outside would would uh, would would find the, the result, and uh, to check in how to, how to create these new models. And uh, of course, after this new models uh, is ready, you think it um, would be possible to publish. I think you can come back to chaos to you know to give them a more solid uh, definition and insight under this uh, you know under the, the support of the slide to give them the more deep insight about this matrix model and and of course if you think uh, it's good enough you can recommend this matrix model to the compass and uh, we would like to use or deploy this new metric model as a, as a common one. But as you can see that we define that, is it a common matrix model or it just a specific uh, industrial or fields? Uh, of course, we can deploy this specific matrix model to the specific uh, technology areas maybe. Yep. And unfortunately, it have some bug so far, but um, but uh, truly, this at noon we are, we are trying that it works very friendly. But I hope so next week when we formally release it, uh, we will fix all those bugs. And uh, and uh, yeah, and make it ready for for everyone from chaos. Yep. Um, Shengxiang, do you have some comments or do you have some uh, actual? Perhaps you can try again. Uh, I just made a new model just now. <laughs> I created it successfully. Hope so. I can try it again. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to oh, go ahead. You know, perhaps the chaos logo was set and uh, in the metric and which the metric which on issues you can perhaps you can open it okay there yeah yeah uh -huh. <laughs> you just like the one right yeah we will add others after this meeting uh -huh. no it's not still do i need to look over look through all the maybe you can that? Yes, just saving. No. Maybe it's my my maybe it's my environment fault. So yeah, I think we have uh, finished this demo. Any comments? Yeah, I agree. There are some questions in the in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I so my uh, first question is um uh, about the the threshold values. I may have missed something, but will the metrics be normalized? Using the threshold values before calculating their weighted sum. That's my question. Maybe I can show you here. Yeah, after selecting data. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean the structure. Yep. Yeah. You, you you have three metrics, right? Yeah. On the right side, there there are threshold values for each of the yeah metrics. Will the metrics, I mean, will the metrics be normalized using these threshold values before they add them together using the weight percentage? Uh, actually, it has, it would be normalized uh, using this default algorithm. But uh, uh, okay. uh, we will show that because um, maybe this so called system default algorithm is not that um, avail available. Uh, because it's under the uh, the code, source code, but I think we can we can display it here to make it more understandable uh, how to make it normalized. Actually, we use log. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, there are other questions? Yeah. In the, in the chat, I mean, there are uh, other questions. Your, your, your questions? Uh, so, uh, I think Xiao asked for one question. Yeah, they will be generated for each repo. Uh, I would say not per week. Currently, okay. we could secure at least uh, three three weeks. Around three weeks, we can up update all, all the all the data. Okay, I, I was just yeah. It seemed like you would have to have some pretty supercomputing resources around that to uh, generate all that data that often. So I was just curious if I misunderstood, and I did. <laughs> Yeah, because you know the collecting data it's it's quite a time zone. Yeah. So so yeah. Even we already have some data and uh, iterized the uh, iteratively to update this data still uh, spanning some time. Yeah. And this piece problem. Yeah, please hope so, hopefully. Uh, actually the initial idea to create this matrix model lab is helping our chaotix to create a new matrix model honestly speaking so uh yeah i i i would write a blog uh, for that awesome yep and um, we would open for all the people from from chaos anyone could um, you know could get this count uh you know register your account to create your matrix model. There's no limitation on that. Because at, at the first discussion with uh, Sheng Xiang that if we will restrict the, the, the members who would have this access right to creating to create a new models. But finally we decide that to let more uh, other people from chaos from chaos have this right to to create new matrix model. Any other questions? Do we do we support to add our own uh, single metric in this metric module? Uh, of course, yeah. You can only se se select uh, any of the even for um, select select. Uh, I, I mean, maybe some, add some, some more. Some more, yes. Yeah, uh, can't find a suitable metric. Contact us so, through the community. If it's already exists in chaos, we could uh, quickly <laughs> implement it in okay. chaos, i.e., in compass. If it doesn't exist yet in chaos, we I suggest we would uh, define it in chaos first, and uh, and uh, implement it in chaos uh, in compass secondly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the second is, um, could we change the the days? You know, uh, we have the nineteen days, right? Ninety, ninety, nineteen days. Each single matrix. We only get the number around the 19 days. The, the range is 80 uh -huh. days, right? So, you mean yes, this one uh, in the last yes, 90 days? After, okay. Yes. Yeah, I, I think it would be maybe uh, you, can, you can treat it as a new metric actually, because all the metric. Uh, defined at the ninety days or thirty days, it's yeah. a, it's a cal calculation result. So we need to define it. Like uh, here, we uh, have some uh, suffix like uh, ninety days. Another new metric called PR issue linked ratio, like thirty days suffix. Okay. So so when we cannot change it right now. So far, no, not yet. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, uh, can, uh, did you trigger or uh, uh, analyze of a lab report, uh, lab models? And and I say you you did didn't show the features of which we can we can discuss on a report. We will we will show it. Okay. Actually, I already treated it, but uh, haven't got anything because I think this data ha haven't displayed it yet because I just created very early, uh, just before the meeting. I don't know what happened <laughs> during the demo. Okay, I I can get go a report, but there is really no data on the on the chart. <laughs> And so, but, but so, uh, perhaps it's a great feature to help us to to talk about the metric. But anyway, I think we still one week before the formal release. I we still have time to 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 do to make the bug fix, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you want to trigger analysis, you can you can just click this one. And then the, it will display as analysis. After it's finished, you can see the result. Anyway, yeah. Any any other questions? No. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you to help. Oh, well, thank you. It's yeah. been great. Thank you. Yeah, maybe I can stop sharing. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, the only the only other thing on the agenda, I I added it because we're conducting a survey of people that have used the chaos tools and metrics, and we're trying to better understand some of the challenges that people have faced so that we can we can make improvements within, within the project. So I've included the link to the survey in the meeting minutes. So I would just encourage you to fill out the survey. And in particular, there's a text box where you can talk a little bit more about maybe some of the challenges you've had using um, in particular Grimoire Lab and, and Augur. If you happen to have used either of those tools, that would be particularly helpful. Have it translated in, in China, uh, in Chinese? Sorry. Let's take our survey. Yuhui, oh. do you mean the survey? Did we translate the survey? No. Well, yeah, yeah, I just opened up. It's, uh, it's English, right? Okay. If you think it would be helpful to collect more ideas from, from Chinese, from China, I, I can help to translate it into Chinese. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about that. Um, hmm. We did at one time have a a, a nice uh, flow for translating metrics into Chinese, and I'm wondering if if Yahoo if that flow could be applied to the survey. Mm -hmm. I think the challenge would be in analyzing the the survey the survey data. Uh huh. I, I got the important. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Do we do we think if, it's if, worth it? Do you think we'd get enough people who will fill would fill it out in Chinese, but who wouldn't fill it out in English? But the the big question is not in Chinese or or English. It's it looks like it's a need uh, a Google account here. That all the yeah. people oh. from got Google Cloud. Oh, yeah. Another big, that's a big issue, a bigger issue than translation, probably. Yeah. But anyway, we can help to uh, you know, promote this story in, in, in China. Okay. We have some WeChat. Yeah, that would be great if you could, if you could promote it. And then, um, we can always collect some data separately from, from China if we think that would be valuable, maybe after we do this survey. Uh, we could always we could always do another another kind of a, a slightly different survey if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We could do it on a platform that China can access and then also do it in Chinese and mm -hmm. maybe with the help of the chaos community over there to help us run it and translate the results and all of that. So, but that mm -hmm. seems yeah, like a big project. <laughs> so yeah, maybe after we do this one and we learn some things about the survey too. So yeah, good idea though. Yeah, absolutely. I, I will just want to one why why did we use Google Doc to get such a surveys? But as you know, there is a lot of platform which which can help us to get some data from people, and it will provide a lot of charts to help us to analyze the mm -hmm. of. But it seems that you have get to some, some key keyword results from the data, which when you work with Google Doc, you must have to check it manually. Yeah, the, we used we used the Google form because the survey is is really incredibly simple and it only has a couple of questions. So it seemed like it seemed like the easiest way to do it. And we don't really, we don't have accounts like professional accounts with any of the other survey platforms um, to use to use any of any of those. So yeah, it was it was a convenience thing, um, mainly because it's it's the survey itself is just so incredibly simple. It's it really is just a couple of questions. Yeah, we we can we can we can get some uh address uh, about we can perhaps we can use some open source project to to help to improve that or uh, we will try it to have um, such the survey in Chinese mm -hmm. in China then you can you can try it yeah yeah and it might be you know, I, it might be that we want to ask some different questions of um, if we did a survey in China, there might be some other things that you'd want to know about the, the chaos community in China that we could we could add some questions and do something a little bit different and maybe do something more sophisticated, like, like you mentioned, and using some of these other tools that have a few more a few more features. Thanks. I think uh, the, the demo I used the link uh, recorded in the Android uh, mom uh, is a verification system. After it's formally released, uh, we will pro uh, it will display on the on the on the production environment. So maybe in the next meeting we can we can give you a, a demo it again uh, <laughs> for the formal re release. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Do you have do you have any other topics to discuss? No, I think we can close today's meeting. Sounds good. It's okay to close the meeting before the actual finish time. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. See you next time.